Hello everyone, I'm Simone, tech specialist of Kiloview. In today's video, I want to show you the new features of our N60, our most powerful NDI I.O. module. Let's have a look on. As you can see in the main web UI, on the output tab, we have not only NDI high bandwidth and NDI HX anymore, but we can choose other solutions like NDI high bandwidth and NetStream, NDI bandwidth only, NDI bandwidth with no record, NDI HX only, and NetStream. Let me show you NetStream first. You press OK. As you can see in the NetStream uh, service push, now we have SRT, RTSP, and RTMP. Now I have my D350 with me, so we can decode everything coming from the N60 directly to the D350. So, if I enable my SRT stream and press OK, I've just preset it the D350 as a listener mode, so I can simply take our ingested source, put it on the screen, and you will see in a matter of seconds, it will appear on the screen on my right side. That easy. So you're now able to get NDI at bandwidth and NetStream all together, for example. Let me show the RTMP feature also. If you go back to the N60 and disable the SRT first, we can also use RTSP, RTMP all together, but just for the sake of being, let me be back to the D350 and remove the SRT first. Let's enable RTMP source, press OK, and be back to the D350. Now I can simply drag and drop the RTMP server into the D350 and you can see on my right you got the signal right away. I've connected both the two units to the Kilolink Server Pro and as you can tell from the IP address my N60 is on a completely different subnetting and a different network from the D350. But you know what? One of the most amazing features we have introduced is NDI Bridge. Your N60 now can be a client for our NDI Bridge host. Let me show you how to do that. So if we go into our N60 web UI, in the output tab, we can decide that both NDI iBandwidth and NDI HX or only NDI HX. So in that way, we're gonna enable NDI Bridge as a client. In here, go into settings, NDI settings, and you see there's a new voice, NDI Bridge. Let me first open NDI Bridge in my laptop. I have configured everything, the bridge name, the public IP address, the port and the encryption key. I just press on start and now it's waiting for clients to connect. So if I go back to the N60 web UI and tap on on, you will see I get the source to share, whether NDI or NDI HX depending on your bandwidth, the name of the bridge client, the server IP address, the port and the encryption key. We just need to tap on apply. I put you side by side the two windows and you will see in the status it will change for waiting for clients to connect the clients. Okay, you see now in the web UI we got success and one client is connected. If we press on the studio monitor, we're gonna see our N60 bridge feed. And here we are. If we go in the D350, we've been able to discover that feed. For example, in here, gonna refresh the sources and you will see bridge N60 video. We're gonna select on add, close this app, and we can send it directly to the D350. And you will see the image will spot on the screen in a second. So this is how to use NDI Bridge on our new N60 firmware. I hope you like this video and stay tuned for more to come. You can always reach us at www.kiloview.com and for any technical support, send us an email to support at kiloview.com. See you in the next one.